According to Professor Chen Hingvin, Vietnam is taking the lead in theoretical physics in Southeast Asia. Vietnam's physics can be compared with China, India, and Japan. The country boasts a strong contingent of physicists. Professor Bun believes, in order to promote the science in Vietnam, it's important to mentor young talents. The scientist has been making enormous efforts to help young Vietnamese scientists to attend international conferences. Young researchers were encouraged to present their work and talk with senior researchers. The young scientists have a chance to present the first serious papers before a prestigious international audience. Through this means, Dr. Vinh has brought the presence of Vietnam to the forefront of the world scientific community. Dr. Vinh, um, you also have scholarships that you help with to, to bring um, students um, in Vietnam and encourage them to study, and it's called the Odon Valley. Scholarship. How did that begin? Can you tell us a little bit about that? You know that that precisely in uh, precisely after the the first Hong Kong du Vietnam we organized with Professor Hill, the organization of Hong Kong du Vietnam provided scholarship to some uh, young scientists in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And little and little we uh, extended to what we call the University of uh, Very Gifted Children mm -hmm. in Hanoi. Mm -hmm. And I must say that in 2000. Uh, we have the, a big conference in which Professor Friedman was there, and we organized a, a, a meeting to give the fellowship to the students, students. Mm -hmm. and we asked to Professor uh, Friedman and Professor Ramsey and other friends to, to give the fellowship, mm -hmm. and a newspaper, a newspaper told about that, mm -hmm. and at the same time we have invited uh, Dr. Odon Valley, mm -hmm. who have handled <laughs> for the village of, of oh, Dalat right. mm -hmm. to come to visit uh, the village. And he came to Vietnam at that time and he saw in the newspaper that famous people uh, gave the scholarship to uh, Vietnamese students. students. Mm -hmm. And he asked us if he can contribute to that. Mm -hmm. And we know that he, he has a very big heritage. Mm -hmm. And of course, we, we accept said yes. it. <laughs> we accept of course, it. he said but, yes. Uh, and then, since uh, 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 since 2001, he contributed to uh, search fund of sc uh, scholarship. And this year, for example, we will be given about 2,100 scholarship uh, here. Just, uh, uh, wow. Uh, I think that uh, for the high school as for mm -hmm. the student, wow. the uh, average mm -hmm. of each scholarship it, it is about 250 US dollars. But to and, two, more uh, than 2,000 students yeah, are it, getting this. It, is, uh, oh. uh, for, it means wow. that for Vietnam, and also we give scholarship for Vietnamese students in France, mm -hmm. all together it is about uh, 500,000 euros per mm. year. Wow. And, and this comes come from a donation. He, uh, the he uh, professor uh, Odovale gave us, we put in the bank, and the product of that give about uh, mm -hmm. 400,000, 500,000 wow. euro every year to give this scholarship. To give to the and students. I must say that for, for the moment, we are mainly devoted to science. <laughs> Professor Chen Thanh Vân and his wife, Dr. Lê Kim Ngọc, are the co-founders of many scholarships, especially for Vietnamese students. Since 1997, the Gang Kong to Vietnam organization chaired by Dr. Vân presented the first scholarships to give to students at the National University. In 2001, the Auden Valley Scholarship Fund was founded, continuing the mission of the scholarship program given by Gang Kong to Vietnam. In the past five years, Professor Chen Thanh Vân and Professor Auden Valley have been traveling back and forth between the north and south of Vietnam to grant thousands of scholarships for Vietnamese students. The number of students to receive the scholarships has been on a year-on-year -year increase from 300 scholarships in 2001 to 2,100 scholarships in 2008. We have been granting scholarships for Vietnamese students for five years and we will continue doing so. Every year, we come back to Vietnam to learn about the progress of the students. Education is a long process 
but we will never let go of opportunities to support students. Professor Van always nurtures a strong desire to help Vietnamese students to have better access to a good education. Well-equipped laboratories and classrooms have been built thanks to his dedication. He's been tirelessly working to assist young gifted students to seek scholarships and hopes that with the knowledge they obtained in developed countries, these youngsters will come back to make a contribution to the country's development. Vern and his wife have themselves assisted many Vietnamese postgraduates who have come back to teach in universities. Cách đây 3 năm, uh, nhờ vào sự giúp đỡ của giáo sư Ô Đông Va Lê và sự giới thiệu của hai bác uh, Trần Thanh Vân và bác Kim Ngọc Trần Thanh Vân, em đã có được sự giúp đỡ về tài chính vào thời điểm cực kỳ quan trọng đối với cả em đấy là chuẩn bị cho một cuộc thi kỳ thi lớn vào trường Bách khoa Paris và nhờ vào sự giúp đỡ này em đã có những điều kiện học tập tốt nhất và thoải mái nhất để thành công trong kỳ thi lớn vào một trường đại học lớn một trong những trường đại học lớn nhất của Pháp này. Professor Trần Thanh Vân's driving force behind this effort to nurture young talents is to promote Vietnam's image in the world. He believes that only by making Vietnam better known in the world can his home country draw more international support to spur its growth.